Question 9. Tyroxine and lysine shown in figure 9. Okay, this is their structure. Tyroxine and lysine. They are both amino acids. Part A. The isoelectric point of lysine is um, 9.47. So what is isoelectric point? Means the pH which the amino acid is uh, formed the uh, deuter ion. Means uh, it's formed the dipolar ion, the ammonium and carboxylate. Uh, however, it's still a charge neutral species. Draw the structure of lysine at the stated pH in the boxes below. Okay, lysine is this one. Uh, so now, if uh, it's better for you to draw the start with the 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 lysine at uh, pH 9.47, the isoelectric point. Uh, at this point, we know that it's charge neutral, uh, so you can give this structure or this structure. Uh, if really follow the the isoelectric point, the structure it should be this one uh, because this is a side chain. Uh, this is the the backbones of the amino acid, right? So, uh, however, you can give either one, no problem. So means the protons from here, it will gain by this one or this one. So, uh, it's better to gain by this one, right? Since it's the the dipolar ion of amino acid. Now, if let's say now uh, you know uh, it's uh, started with this one this uh, dipolar ion so let's move to the lower pH so pH at 7 when pH 7 uh, if compared to pH 9.47 is relatively acidic so means now is a uh, acidic condition for lysine so when it's acidic condition means it has more H plus means the dipolar ion or deuteral ion it will gain proton so means this one it will gain protons further so this one already form ammonium only this part will gain the proton means this one yeah, sorry this one and this one will be ammonium and another part need to gain proton as well is the carboxylate so this carboxylate need to gain a proton to form this carboxylate acid and at the same time the uh, amine means this amine group will gain a proton to form ammonium means it will form this structure also you can uh, give this structure uh, both acceptable so means uh, the, at pH 7 the carboxylate gains proton to form carboxylic acid and this one stay or this one stay as amine okay of course this is uh, this is better because uh, uh, at pH 7 is relatively acidic and it has uh, uh, quite a number of H plus so therefore it will form this uh, carboxylic acid means the carboxylic gains proton and at the same time another amine group gains uh, proton to form ammonia okay so now let's move on to the uh, higher pH pH chart pH chaff is relatively alkaline than this uh, 9.47 means now the dipolar ion or deuter ion need to uh, uh, donate or need to lose the proton means the ammonium here or ammonium here if you give this structure means this ammonium if you lost one proton and you form this amine so means this ammonium lost one proton from this amine and this is a structure at higher pH 
so it means it's from this amine and carboxylate so this is how you compare the iso electric point with different ph and of course different structure will form okay so these are the possible answer part b when ethanoic acid is treated with PCl5, product D is formed. When D is added to the tyroxine, two different isomeric products E and F form. Okay, before we uh, move to the E and F, so let's uh, let's look at the D. How is formed? To form the D, the ethanol correct. So we need to use the ethanoic acid, reacts with the PCl5, and it will form this, the ethanoic acid, uh, if you convert to this ethanol correct, and of course it will form uh, the side products. So the PCl5 will form POCl3, and uh, white fumes form the HCl. So this is how to form the ethanol correct from the carboxylic acid using the PCL5. Okay, this one, no need heat, right? They just react. And let's move, uh, let's, uh, move back to this E and F. Okay, again, uh, ethanol chloride okay, added to the thyroxine. So this is the thyroxine. Ethanol chloride, it can react with two groups in this, uh, this uh, thyroxine. This is amine. And this is the uh, the phenol. The ethanol chloride it can react with both, both. But uh, since it say that isomeric product means the ethanol chloride either react with this or react with this. And this statement is very important. E has the ester linkage, so means means the ethanol chloride when it's react with phenol uh, it will produce E this one it will produce E when the ethanol chloride reacts with the amine uh, then it will form F because F is has no ester linkage so in order to give E and F you must know the reactions between the ethanol chloride with the Phenol. So it will form ester, this one. And this one stay means no reaction because it's just say that uh, 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 isomeric product means it just react with either one. If let's say now ethanol chloride react with this amine, uh, then it will form this amide and the phenol is here. So these two, they are isomo, isomo. Part C, complete table 9.1, drawing the structure of organic product form when the thyroxine reacts with the, the reagent. Uh, again, ignore uh, directing effects of this group, uh, means this group. So ignore this directing effect, just focus on the phenol. Uh, phenol in this thyroxine is the uh, two four directing, means Whenever there is a substitution, uh, so it will happen at 2, 4, and 6, means this, this, and this position. Because the 4 position already uh, has these uh, groups, so no substitution. Okay, it's just this 2 and 6 position. So now the first reagent is uh, the bromine water. So when bromine water with phenol, so this phenol will direct 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, 6. This one cannot. So therefore, it just forms this, uh, this uh, structure. So the two bromines okay, will uh, substitute the hydrogen at the, uh, the 2 and 6 position right, from this compound. Excess uh, secondary agent, excess sodium hydroxide, 
again refer back to this uh, thyroxine uh, sodium hydroxide is alkaline will react with this carboxylic acid and phenol so it will react with these two this will form carboxylic COO negative this will form phenoxide so therefore you get this this uh, sodium carboxylate salt and this phenoxide sodium phenoxide and the the last reagent uh, excess uh, nitric acid dilute nitric acid so um, means uh, it will undergo nitration so again is the this uh, two and six position actually the answer it can be either one means you just put the nitro group okay on this carbon uh, and this carbon without nitro group also can right if it's a concentrated hno3 uh, then uh, both need to be substituted means both need to be uh, get nitrated so you can give this answer or just one nitro group is enough and one thing that you need to really be careful is this part in the thyroxine you can see that this is amine no? the amine will react with the acid to form ammonium so therefore this one will form ammonium salt okay to get together with the two nitro groups part d a mixture of thyroxine and lysine can be separated by thin layer chromatography under certain condition the rf value of lysine is uh, 0 0.14 rf value for thyroxine is 0 0.45 part one explain what it means by rf value very easy the distance traveled by amino acid uh, in this case uh, we have uh, these two uh, amino acid thyroxine and lysine distance traveled by amino acid divided by distance traveled by solvent so means a uh, solvent front so means uh, let's say uh, the distance traveled by this lysine is x okay over the distance traveled by the solvent okay uh, let's say is uh, is uh, z and this one uh, the distance traveled by the this uh, thyroxine is y then this is over z it's kind of that so means we from here we know that the distance that traveled by the lysine is smaller the distance that traveled by the thyroxine is higher because the value is larger so means y is larger than the x so for part two then you can answer uh, according to this rf value suggest an explanation for the difference uh, in this rf value so why the thyroxine is has the larger rf value why this value is larger why the, this uh, why okay this this distance is larger because this thyroxine it can bring by the solvent and move further means we know that the thyroxine is more soluble in the solvent which is the mobile phase therefore it can travel faster faster than the lysine so thyroxine is more soluble in solvent that's why it's moved faster and the value here is larger or you can say that lysine is more attracted to stationary phase why because the uh, this uh, interaction or attractions of lysine is greater uh, with the stationary phase that's why it stays so it's uh, travel lesser so the value is lower okay so you just give either one okay that's all thank you